Do you truly love your brothers and sisters in the faith? Do you truly love your brothers and sisters in the faith? I am absolutely appalled when I look at Facebook. I'm absolutely just shocked by the hatred, by the confusion, and uh, yeah, sometimes, listen, by the outright hypocrisy of many Christians. Now, I know we all have our beliefs. Our beliefs will be informed and transformed as we behold Christ. But I want you to grab a hold of this. It's the beholding of Christ that transforms us, 2 Corinthians 3.18. It's not holding on to a belief of anger or hate and not being willing to be transformed by God. Do I believe we should voice our opinions? Yes. Some of you voice your opinions very proudly, and, uh, and, but sometimes in, in that, in that if you believe God has called you to voice that opinion, great. If you believe you're voicing that opinion because you have to defend God, then that's another story. We don't have to defend how to lead Christ. He is enough. The Bible says if you lift Him up, He will draw all of into Him. We need to lift up the name of Jesus. We need to lift up how to lead the divinity. We need to lift up the promises of our Lord. Let's go into the Word. Now, I'm voicing my opinion here today, saying stop being so hateful and show some love. Amen? Come on. 1 John 3, 14. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. So let me ask you, are you abiding in life? Amen? Because you're showing love. And love doesn't mean you always agree. Love doesn't mean you always even stand for things. But you, you need to come across in a place of love and transformative work, lifting up the name of Christ. Amen? Or are you abiding in death? Do you abide in love, life, or do you abide in hate, which is death? The word's very clear. 1 John 3, 14. Amen? So, happy Tuesday. This is Wayne Sutton. I'm going to bring this message to you. I want you to ask yourself that. This isn't, listen, this isn't for anyone else but the one watching this. And if this offends you, if you go, Pastor Wayne, you don't understand, or Pastor Wayne, you're a pacifist. No, I'm not a pacifist. I believe in standing up for what is right. But I also believe that we need to have love in our heart. Say, okay, how do I look at this situation? How do I tend to this situation? How do I handle this situation based on a heart of love, based on life? We know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. Wow. Simple verse. I'm not going to try to explain it, but the Holy Spirit, I believe, is speaking to you right now. And if you are not willing to listen, the Holy Spirit convicts us of our righteousness. He says, listen, you're a son of the Most High. You're a daughter of the Most High. And because of that, this is how I want you to love. This is how I want you to walk. This is what I want you to do. Hey, listen, for some of you, you may burn bridges. For some of you, you're going to build bridges. The key is, and hey, Lord, what do I do? How do I walk in love? Now, love is, listen, love is both the lion and the lamb. I want you to ponder on that. Lord, what does it mean to have love like you, to be the lion and the lamb? The perfect sacrifice, hallelujah, and the lion that moves forth. So, I'm not going to go any further on this. You pray about it. But instead of just, let me say this, instead of just boistering our opinions, can we say, Lord, does this opinion line up with the true kingdom of God? And how do I express it? How and what is the point of my expressing? Am I showing love? Am I bridging people together? Am I, am I really expanding the kingdom of God? Or not? So, let me read it one more time. Amen. And you guys have a blessed Tuesday. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love the brethren. He who does not love his brother abides in death. If you haven't signed up yet for our newsletter, these daily updates and so much more, yourprophecynews.com, yourprophecynews.com. Sign up. I look forward to hearing from you. Make it a great day. God bless.